and good morning to uh, all of you so today uh, i'm going to discuss uh, the information given in the uh, pre scene uh, of uh, sl5 july 2022 right so before uh, going for discussion so uh, i hope uh, everyone uh, has uh, gone through uh, this document uh any comments what do you have experience is that easy to understand is that very complicated to understand what do you think right so if it is easy it's really good right so but my personal experience is this is very uh, tough case study why i'm going to say like that uh, so from my previous experience i'm going to say like that so one of the uh, the issue uh, you can identify with this uh, information given is uh, there are so many informations too much informations so there are 21 pages so it's very tough to uh, understand uh, the connectivity of some of the information even so what is expected is uh, the connecting information uh, will be given in the unseen so scenario like that make more complications so that's why i have uh, told you uh, right so this is very tough uh, myself i read five time this case study right so i read five time Actually, uh, one time taking more time, and other time just go through, right? So word by word, right? Uh, uh, word by word, uh, right? Uh, went through, right? So if it is not complicated for you, that's fantastic, right? So then it will be a much easier job for you, right? Uh, right so uh, uh, my task actually generally uh, is to uh, go through the facts given that's my task my task is not to analyze uh, strategic management finance management no that's not uh, my task my task is to go through word by word and uh, uh, interpret it Uh, in uh, future sessions uh, you will have detailed discussion on strategic management i think there are two sessions and there will be a uh, detailed discussion on uh, finance management i think it is scheduled tomorrow and next week uh, you will have the strategic management discussions right so when uh, we have given uh, uh, pre scenes uh, what are the tasks to be done by you you have to understand that first so what type of task to be done by you so so normally you know that uh, in a uh, free scene uh, some of the uh, story is given story is development right so this is a part of a story part of a story and uh, so this will be continue uh, continue with the unseen part with the unseen part so now uh, so your task is uh, to uh, 
analyze this. Your task is to analyze information given, right? So you want to do uh, analysis, right? So it can be uh, so there may be four main analysis you can do related with this one. That is a strategic management analysis, strategic analysis, strategic uh, management. Then you can do a risk management. Then you can do a finance management. Then you can do tax tax analysis. Uh, this is 80 marks paper. So, strategic management 45. Strategic management uh, 45. Uh, tax 10%. Risk management 5%. Audit and risk management. And uh, finance management 20%. With the weightage uh, of the paper. So, since uh, assignment uh, carry uh, 20 marks, so this uh, this is normally uh, given 80 marks. 80 marks. Uh, so, 80 compositions uh, is uh, mainly covered from the strategic management strategic uh, uh, management part uh, is uh, the main component of this therefore it's your duty to uh, work more with the strategic management part right uh, so this uh, FM is the second largest uh, portion, that is uh, 20 percent, uh, then uh, tax 10 percent, then risk management 5 percent. Right? Accordingly, uh, we have to give weight. Risk management means this auditing part, corporate governance, uh, all carry only 5 percent, guys. Right? Strategic management uh, is the main uh, component. Therefore, uh, giving more attention on strategic management is uh, important to pass the uh, paper. Right. Uh, so, with pre scene, what you can do is uh, you can work with the pre scene. It may be uh, right uh, with the group members. You can form group and do some analysis uh, with the pre scene. So, then uh, you can carry those documents uh, to the exam. Since this is an open book uh, paper, so you have the luxury to carry any material. Right? So then uh, you can connect uh, the analysis you have done with the unseen given. Then Nicole, you can extract some of the information uh, you have done on this uh, uh, on uh, this this uh, pre seen part, and then you can include that one within your answer. Hi. Right. So that is introductions. Uh, I will show you uh, some of the analysis I have done last time actually for strategic management. This is for uh, strategic management analysis I have done last time. Uh, now you can see the last time actually uh, the group and three companies were given. Three uh, arms were given, separate information was given. Therefore, it was much complicated uh, analysis. For example, if you look at about this uh, content, you can see uh, uh, I have done four sort analysis. Right? Four sort analysis. Then if you look at about the five forces, for example, 12, 13, 14, I have done three uh, five forces. Then value chain, you can see I have done three value chain. Generic strategies, I have done three generic strategy applications. And then blue ocean, you can see, uh, right? Uh, three applications right so uh, marketing strategy 51 52 53 three applications so it was much uh, difficult assignment last time uh, right uh, so therefore uh, 
students have to do more analysis with the precinct but uh, this time actually uh, the one main company information is given therefore no need to go for uh, analysis like this but uh, right so last time i have done series 75 analysis i have done 75 analysis uh, this is only for strategic management part so this time at least you have to do uh, 50 analysis for strategic management right then you can get an idea about the uh, analysis uh, the analysis you have to carry out right uh, so it's not an easy task guys right it's not an easy task uh, you have to uh, uh, work hard uh, on this uh, so already i am sure that uh, you have done a lot of uh, works so see this uh, so my document uh, go up to 190 pages this is strategic management analysis uh, uh, it go up to 190 pages right so then you can get an idea so you have to carry at least uh, 350 document analysis no, with you uh, when uh, we look at about the other parts so at least 350 pages analysis uh, document uh, should be uh, prepared by your cell and uh, go to the exam right so i just want to show you uh, so what type of uh, analysis you have to do so how many people uh, hands up how many people have read at least five times how many people have read the case at least five times? Whole information. Five times. How many people have read? So, number of people who have read uh, for uh, five times? Three times at least. How many people have uh, uh, read at least for three times? Huh? So guys, uh, the number one thing you want to do is to familiarize with the information given. So you must familiar, uh, must be familiar with the information given. Therefore, my recommendation is to read at least uh, six to seven times. That means deep reading. You have to go word by word again and again. At least six times, guys, since you are going to do the exam. So now, see, I have read the information for four times up to now, right? So, uh, so when I have my analysis is completed, I may read this one at least 10 to 15 times sometimes. The same information I may go through uh, more than 10 times sometimes, right? So, therefore, uh, I'm kindly requesting you uh, to read the information given. Uh, at least 10 to 15 times. The number one thing you want to do is to familiar with the information given. That's the number one job you have to do. Right? So, uh, so familiar with the information given. Then the second thing is you have to do uh, so whatever the analysis you can do with the information. Uh, so, that will be helpful uh, when you are going to answer the paper. Right, so I have provided some background information for you, what you have to do uh, right uh, with this uh, uh, case study. Any questions? Uh, any questions? Right. So then uh, I will go through the information given. Right. I hope you can see uh, the screen. You can see the screen. Hope you can see the screen. Okay. Right. So. Thank you. Uh, so look at the company name. Uh, it is Centric, the power of Don. Centric, the power of Don. So come the Gama power company. So it started uh, from come uh, the Gama power company. 
KPC, a small hydropower generator was acquired by Centric Holding Limited. Now, that start uh, with acquisitions. There was a company called Kandego Power Company that was acquired by uh, Centric Holding Limited. CHL was incorporated in 1999. So, 1999 means uh, experience uh, company and uh, they have been in the business for more than 23 years. Uh, it should be a strength uh, if you are going to analyze the uh, CHL uh, information. It was promoted by Don Gomez. Don Gomez. Now see the topic. Topic is uh, the power of Don. Right? So the CHL is uh, mainly owned by the Don Gomez. So it seemed to be a story about the Don Gomez. Right? So his CHL company and the related companies. So it say uh, Don is a dynamic business leader. So he's a dynamic business leader. Normally, dynamic business leader understand the importance of inspiring others. So he understand uh, the importance of inspiring others, and he try to achieve the success through teamwork. Right. He tried to achieve the success through uh, teamwork. So he uh, he is someone who is dealing with the people, right? Uh, he believe in teamwork. Through that, he tried to achieve the success. Uh, Don Gomez, a dynamic business leader with a substantial amount of inherited wealth. So he has a uh, lot of uh, wealth that come from uh, uh, his family, right? Uh, dynamic business leader with a substantial amount of inherited wealth. The founders of KPC all joined the new company. Now, see, uh, when he acquired the KPC, uh, he didn't pay purchase considerations. So, what has happened is he has allowed uh, this uh, founders of the KPC to join the uh, CHL, right? New company. CHL of the Don family with the hope of a, a loan journey in the power sector, expanding the business with hydropower and renewable energy technology. So the CHL mainly involved with the power sector. So at the at present, hydropower and renewable energy is uh, one of their business series. Yes, right. So. CHL was designed uh, with the vision of becoming a leading power supplier to the nations, the lighthouse of the nation responsible for the environment. So you are more focusing on uh, uh, environment friendly power generations. Right? So and it had the required professional capacity to lead the power and energy industry. Right. So light out of the nation responsible for the environment, that means you are uh, more uh, right uh, responsible organizations. Uh, you are more thinking about sustainability and you don't want to damage to the environment. This uh, vision is important. Why this vision is important? Whenever you are trying to involve in a new business area, you have to check whether that new business proposal in line with the vision of the organizations. For example, uh, any business uh, proposal which uh, makes some damages to the environment should not be acceptable because it is not in line with the missions. For example, suppose uh, there's a proposal on coal uh, power plant. Coal power plant may damage to the environment. In the such scenario, you should not accept the proposal, right? You should not accept the proposal, right? Right. Uh, 
Yes, simply man, if nuclear plant, if nuclear plant is damaging to the environment, right, you have to go through that one and check. If uh, it is uh, no, uh, right damage to the environment, then you should not accept that one. So that is one of the things you have to uh, consider. Then uh, they are talking about this, uh, the business, Kandigama, a new pace. Don Gomez, a co-founder uh, of Centric Coding Limited. Now look at this co-founder. So when uh, you have given this uh, co-founder word, uh, so there should be another founder, right? So, so we'll see later we may find uh, that is topaz actually is uh, uh, right uh, uh, was the other uh, partner right of the business right uh, he became an engineering professional in 1992 when he was 20 years old he became a chart management accountant in 1994 uh, for Oblizima. And earned a master degree in business from prestigious business management faculty in Sri Lanka in 1996. Highly qualified guy, right? engineer, SIMA, uh, uh, MBA. So he's having a lot of uh, academic and professional qualifications. It should be a strength in the company analysis. Uh, CHL was a loan uh, pan business venture by Gomez's father, uh, Don Topaz. Ah, see? Other partner is uh, the Don Father, right? Don Topaz, right? Uh, so see, it's the power of Don. They talk about the power of the Don family. So Gomez plus his father, uh, that is Topaz, uh, are the power of the, this organizations. Who was also an engineering graduate from a leading engineering and technology university in Sri Lanka. He's also an engineer. And Topaz uh, had 30 years of uh, uh, work experience. See, well experienced person, strength, strength, right? So had 30 years of uh, work experience as a chief engineer at some of the main hydropower generation plant in the country. So that guy is having the experience, uh, industry experience. So that's a plus point uh, to the business. In other words, strength to the business. Look at the next sentence. He earned a proper, uh, he earned a presidential award for one of his invention and also obtained a patent for a magnetic gearing mechanism he developed to reduce the slack time in compact power machine. Uh, highly, uh, right, uh, acceptable person in the society. He has even won the presidential award for his uh, ability. Then uh, Topaz had excellent uh, business ideas. So that means uh, he's having good business knowledge. Right, uh, he was a consultant for uh, several capital intensive manufacturing companies that made rubber, aluminium, and uh, koi products. He acquired large scale rice mill in 1982. That was his first business. Uh, so he acquired uh, rice mill in 1982 and operated successfully, giving employment to 150 employees. Right. So he had uh, 150 employees in that particular rice mill. However, the rice mill was sold in 1998 to finance the acquisition of a small hydropower plant in Hinoya. Now they don't have that business. That was uh, the, uh, the first business of them. And they sold that one to get the money to buy uh, this uh, small hydropower plant in Hinoya. The hydropower plant was run by the Kandigama family up country king of Topaz. Uh, early in 1998, right? So uh, there's a relationship also no, with them, right? Uh, early in 1998, uh, Gomez initially discussed his plan for loan business journey with Kandekom family members who welcomed Don's warmly, agreeing to build a new power company. Since then, Kandekom members and Don's work hard toward their new business goal. Now see, these two family become one business uh, family. So uh, this Kandigam family members also join with the CHL. Uh, they want to uh, expand the business through that new combinations. This uh, Topaz and uh, Gomez incorporated CHL in 1999. Uh, father and son uh, start the company, a private company. Right. 
So to acquire the Hinoi hydrobomb plant, Hinoi was a tributary of a Hulu Ganga, uh, which in turn feed the Mahavali River, right? Uh, the Hinoi hydrobomb plant was operated uh, by Kandagama Power Company. So that was operated by Kandagama Power Company KPC and equal partnership owned by four members of the Kandagama family. So that means 25% uh, uh, ownership for each member in the Kandagama family. The concept for the Hinoi hydropower plant as well as operational support was given by the minister who was an engineer, uh, Minister Helpful uh, on this. At the acquisition by CHL, the partners of KPS all agreed to transfer net assets of 280 million of their compared to CHL for cash consideration of 150 million and allocation of 45% equity of CHL. And that is the purchasing considerations price has been given. Right. Uh, so uh, cash, uh, they have uh, uh, had a, this cash consideration of 154 million and uh, uh, allocation of equity of 45% of uh, CHL to family members. The immediate financial portion of CHL consisted of equity capital with zero debt. The office of KPC was uh, shifted from Candy to Colombo with the acquisition by CHL. And ambitious business news appear with compliment. The president of the country, the minister of power and energy and financial minister, all can the new business. Uh, these politicians are happy about this new business. Right? Uh, so one of the plus points at the beginning was no debt actually. And uh, they changed the uh, office uh, to Colombo. Uh, see, there are some uh, news articles even on the company. Kandagama's new pace, centric holdings, new era with centric Kandagama confidence. Can't read those things, no? Right. Now, uh, they're going to uh, provide some information about the Kandagama family members. Right, Kandagama family members. Uh, the Kandagama family members included Dr. Sharma Kandagama. So that is one member. Dr. Sharma Kandagama, an economist from the University of Kalani. So educated person, uh, economist, is a friend uh, for the organizations. She had no business experience and was in Japan for a long time for her higher studies. Dr. Sharma was initially silent partner of the family company. Later, she became an executive director of CHL. That means uh, executive director, you know that the uh, executive directors normally know the business decisions. She enjoyed the leadership and was able to work with employees, maintain excellent relationship. Uh, she should be a good uh, human uh, uh, person. Uh, PR is one of the strengths of this uh, lady, right? Excellent relationship, maintaining an excellent relationship uh, as a result of his, her exposure and experience in Japan. Uh, see, result of her exposure and experience in Japan. Uh, Japanese people are very friendly, you know. So that uh, work to uh, Dr. Sharma also. Uh, she uh, develops some of the soft skills uh, with that particular Japanese culture uh, that is uh, developing good relationship with the people. Uh, uh, her expression in Japan, she then obtained two years of no pay leave from her employer, the university. Uh, that means uh, she's a university lecturer uh, and spend the day at the CHL office contributing to the company's management. Uh, can't you hear me? I hope you can hear me. Can't you hear me? Ah, yes. I think uh, you check. Uh, someone has mentioned that uh, they can't hear. Uh, that person can't hear me. Uh, there may be issue with that person, right? Check that. Okay, right. Thank you. Uh, so, she obtained two years of no-fail leave from her employer. The university can spend the day at the CHL office contribute to the company's management. So normally when you are uh, working in uh, in the university, you have the opportunity to get uh, the sabbatical leave. No? You can get two years leave. Uh, even this uh, government sector, you can get five years leave. Now you can see that uh, it's coming to the surface and government is trying to allow uh, uh, government employee to uh, go abroad and uh, uh, work to uh, provide some foreign currencies to country. Similar arrangement here, right? Similar arrangement here. So she can get sabbatical leave for two years. So what she has done is she has taken two years sabbatical leave 
and uh, work in the company and spend the day at the CHL office contributing to the company's management. During this time, Dr. Sharma visited a few uh, renewable energy uh, plant uh, in India, right? Renewable uh, energy plant. And normally there are three energy power sources, right? Three uh, uh, energy power sources, uh, fossil fuel, uh, that mean uh, 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 like uh, uh, petroleum, uh, natural gas and coal, that is one. Uh, then second one is uh, nuclear energy, nuclear energy, third one is renewable energy, right? Uh, so, right, fossil fuel, nuclear energy, then renewable energy, uh, those are the three energy power sources, right? Uh, so, so what she has done is she has visited uh, uh, a few renewable energy plant in India, Singapore and China, right? So in addition to uh, solar and wind power generation, she brought in the idea of uh, geothermal uh, power generations. So this renewable uh, power energy, there are uh, five sources actually. There are five renewable uh, power uh, energy sources. Uh, that is uh, uh, solar energy, geothermal energy, that is uh, actually from heat inside the earth. So normally what you do is uh, you use uh, like this wood, you use, uh, right, uh, wood and uh, burn it out and through that one you create some heat and uh, from the heat actually you generate the power, right. Uh, wind energy is the third one, uh, wind, uh, biomass from uh, plant, that is another one, right. Uh, fifth one is uh, hydropower from flowing water, right. So if uh, time permit, uh, I will try to show you some of the videos only uh, if the time permit, right? We'll see, right? Uh, so solar energy, uh, geothermal energy from heat inside the earth, uh, that is the second one. Uh, geothermal energy, uh, then wind energy, biomass from plant, uh, then uh, you can biomass from plant right uh, so uh, sorry this geothermal energy for example in Trincomalee we have that uh, some areas like that so from that uh, you can uh, create energy biomass from plant heat a fifth one is hydropower from flowing water, right? So five renewable energy uh, sources are there, right? Uh, no need to, uh, right, uh, right. Uh, so go in depth on that. Uh, you want to have uh, some basic idea about this uh, renewable energy sources. Uh, why? Uh, the reason is actually this company is uh, basically focusing on the renewable energy sources. Therefore, it's better to uh, get some idea on that part, right? And at the same time, that is uh, environment friendly. This uh, organization vision is uh, don't uh, harm to the environment, right? So it's an environment uh, friendly organization. So therefore, uh, their business should be based on the uh, renewable uh, power energy uh, sources, right? So this uh, normally I earlier mentioned that uh, there are three energy power sources, uh, this uh, fossil fuel, now in Sri Lanka, we know that, uh, right, uh, we use uh, this option, petroleum option, for example, even the coal options. We have coal power in uh, Norocholi, right? Then nuclear energy, we don't have the nuclear energy option, the second one. Then the third one is renewable energy. We also base more on this renewable energy, especially with this hydropower. We are more focusing on the hydropower options, right? Uh, so later I will show you the statistic uh, on this uh, in Sri Lankan context. Right. So first of all, I will go through uh, this document in detail. There, there after, uh, so there is a PowerPoint presentation I have uh, prepared. I will go through that one also uh, in uh, quick uh, right sessions. Right, right. So. 
in addition solar and renewable energy during uh, this time dr sharma visited a few renewable energy plant in india singapore and china so she went to those three countries in addition to solar and wind power generation she brought in the idea of geothermal power generations and educated the staff even through chl had no capacity to implement such technology right so he's a, she's always a, right a good trainer also she see he she's always more focusing give the knowledge to the staff members sanat kandigama is the owner of city medicare a mid level healthcare service provider with a 40 bed capacity now see uh, this uh, so we are talking about the family members of the kandigama so if you look at about the initial information it was mentioned that uh, this uh, uh, kandigama business uh, was owned by four family members right so the first uh, para uh, have talk about the uh, dr sharma kandigama now the second para talk about the second guy sanat kandigama sanat kandigama uh, is the owner of uh, city medicare right is the owner of city medicare a mid level healthcare service provider with a 40 bed capacity he had no further education so after he left Sil uh, saint sylvester's college uh can be how he display unique management talent uh, see so uh, he should be a good uh, uh, manager and leader uh, he should be a strength to the business sanat initially rented uh, his property to a dispensary and develop it into a nursing home in 10 years after acquiring a new property he then developed the city medicare hospital within another 7 years uh, he is having a, a hospital but uh, right this should be owned uh, by him personal uh, on personal basis i this should be his uh, personal asset not about the uh, business asset this kandagama uh, business assets right then just before the uh, hinoy hydropower plant was sold to chl uh, sanat daughter devuni became an equal partner of uh, kpc right the kandagama uh, right uh, company uh, kpc equal partner devuni became an equal partner of kpc so devuni had no business interest she did not want to learn business management or work in the corporate sector uh, she resisted the pressure to enter the family business when she was younger Uh, she was not uh, happy with this business proposals she was not interested on business decided instead to pursue career in agri science she was more interested about the uh, career in agri science uh, she was involved in developing a 10 acre farm in uh, rattota matale how she became a single mom later maybe uh, divorce or her husband died right Uh, which changed her life expectation she decided to raise her son yohan without any family support uh, she was uh, living uh, along with uh, her son yohan and no uh, support uh, from from the family with great tension within the family devuni became self reliant but admit to having limited financial expertise how you after about 10 years a relationship with the family improved and she developed better contact with her parents now later it changed actually that's why I, uh, she has joined with the business also so now see there are three members now there's uh, dr sharma sanat kandegama then the devuni kandegama right uh, then the fourth member right uh, it was mentioned initially uh, there were equal shareholders engineer nuan kandegama right uh, engineer nuan kandegama was the founder of the hinoy hydropower plant and the leader of kpc uh, now see this uh, there's an engineer called nuan kandegama right uh, so again kandegama no family member right uh, is a engineer right uh, is a strength to the business was the founder of the hinoy hydropower plant and the leader of kpc Uh, he is the leader that mean the ceo probably the ceo he was allocate 15% of the equity of chl so at the beginning it was mentioned that uh, so four members equal shareholding uh, in the 
kandaga business right uh, so that mean the kpc right uh, then but in uh, chl the shareholding was changed uh, in the new business uh, chl uh, this uh, no one was given uh, 15% of the stake while the resource uh, shared equally between dr sharma sanat and devuni right so other three uh, receive uh, equal shares the board of directors of chl was formed with no one dr sharma and two don family members where gomes became the chairman and chief executive officer uh, they agreed that the chairman main responsibility is to lead direct and manage the board uh, to ensure that it operate effectively and fully discharge its legal and regulatory responsibilities while the day to day operation of the company are managed uh, devuni was appointed as a non executive director uh, devuni was appointed as non executive director you know non executive directors are not uh, fully involved uh, full time uh, involved employees they are not uh, full time uh, involved employees uh, they are uh, job is to work at an advisory capacity and provide their uh, expertise in a particular field to the business Right. Uh, Devuni was appointed as non executive director. Why Sanat Express is willing to cooperate with no no representative in the board, right? Uh, uh, Sanat Express is willing to cooperate with no representative in the board. Ah, uh, uh, he doesn't want to become a board member, no, right? So Gomez restart to the management of CHL. All manager direct report to chairman CEO. He established business development division in 2004 and modified the structure again in 2009 to include an investment and technology division with an expectation of both vertical and horizontal development. Right. So structure. Uh, see, there is no uh, right separate CEO persons. right uh, so chairman is acting as the ceo also and uh, all these uh, functional head are directly reporting to uh, chairman right uh, but you know that uh, if this become a listing company this uh, structure should uh, not be used further for example there should be two separate persons called chairman and ceo according to corporate governance but uh, since this is a private company this is not a problem at person it's not a problem right uh, right uh, so they agree that the chairman main responsibility lead they can manage the board to ensure that it operate effectively and fully discharge its legal and regulatory responsibilities while the day to day operation of the company are managed devuni was appointed as a non executive director while sanat express its willingness to cooperate with no representation in the board commerce research the manager of chl or manager direct report to chairman ceo he established business development division in uh, 2004 in very important information what he has done is he established uh, a business development division in 2004 and modified the structure again in 2009 to include investment and technology divisions look at uh, that part business you have a separate division called business development then you have investment and technology division also right uh business development division 2004 and modify the structure again 2000 include an investment technology division with an expectation of both uh, vertical and horizontal development what is this uh, vertical and horizontal development right uh so if this is relevant to the employees right uh so horizontal mean you get a knowledge of the other business areas vertical mean uh, you get knowledge within the same job area right but if this is relevant to the business expansion listen carefully if this is relevant to the business expansion vertical expansion mean uh, you have two option uh, under the vertical expansion you have two options uh, uh, one is go forward uh, go forward 
that if we call it a forward integrations, uh, that means you started to perform the work of the next partner in the supply chain. For example, you start to perform the work of the distributor. Uh, other one is uh, backward integrations. You can go back and start to do the work. Uh, in that scenario, you start to do the work of the supplier. Uh, maybe acquiring a supplier or start a new uh, business. Right? So, backward integrations. So, vertical two options are there. Either become supply or distributor. If you become a distributor, that is called forward integration. If you become a supplier, it is called backward integrations. Horizontal mean uh, you started to uh, invest money in some other uh, business areas. Right? Uh, that may be complemented with your existing business or uh, that may be subdued to your existing business. Uh, horizontal uh, expansions. Uh, these two are related uh, expansions, right? Related expansions, right? Uh, if I show you uh, this, it is be normally uh, there are two types of expansions. These are diversification options, diversification uh, options. One is uh, related uh, diversifications. Other one is uh, unrelated diversifications. Unrelated diversifications, uh, then uh, uh, with the related, you can identify two uh, that is vertical is one option. Vertical, other one is uh, horizontal. The one is horizontal. Horizontal. Uh, so vertical can be two. Uh, vertical may be having two options. Forward integrations or Backward of indications. What? What the one is the backward indications? The one is backward indications. Right. So here uh, they have mentions uh, about the uh, vertical and horizontal development. So, so probably uh, right, it may be connected like this. So that is undertaken by uh, investment and uh, technology uh, divisions established. Any questions uh, from this uh, area? Any questions?
that uh, executive director that uh, they only actually executive mean you are involved in the decision making no so if you are a university lecturer right even uh, while you are working as a university lecturer still you can uh, work as executive director i uh, think about university lecturers are they uh, working uh, whole five days full time uh, so our time sometime uh, in some lectures come only for two hours lecture in a week sometime uh, that time they are not coming right uh, i don't know about the current situations right therefore still as a university lecturer still you can uh, work as executive director that's not an issue right shareholding percentage of chl will discuss that one later right uh, i have a powerpoint presentation within that powerpoint presentation we we'll look at about them also in detail any more questions right the employee prospective uh, right if it is related with the training training right here is not sure but it should be not employee prospective it should be business expansion so if uh, it look at about employee prospective horizontal mean employee become knowledgeable about the, some other business areas right so then uh, vertical mean uh, so you get a knowledge about uh, your existing job Uh, for example if you are an accountant you get more knowledge about uh, tax auditing like that right uh, the horizontal mean if you are an accountant you get a knowledge about what is happening in uh, marketing what is happening in production like that right yes technology uh, uh, business development and investment division are directly reporting to the chairman Uh, that's not an issue because these are divisional heads, no? Divisional heads are directly reporting. Since this is a private company, that type of structure can be available. But if this become a listed company, there are some corporate governance issues. But at the moment, uh, there are no issues, right? Right. That's good. You are raising questions, uh, right? That's really good. i hope uh, this uh, right uh, the person who raised about uh, this, uh, the questions uh, have got a clear idea tanushka hope uh, you are okay with the answer employee perspective okay okay right so then uh, we will move the next uh, button and win the new farm Uh, CHL has grown steadily over the years. How Sanat was unhappy about the zero dividend policy of CHL. Uh, so that can be an issue, right? So they are applying a zero dividend policy. So there are a uh, few dividends uh, policies. Uh, under the zero dividend policy, you are not going to uh, declare dividend at all. So what you are going to do is uh, reinvest the profit. in the business possibly for uh, business uh, in some other areas also uh, be uh, capitalized through the profits so from future prospect that's really good so in the future if uh, the new investment can generate uh, uh, more return that will be advantages but if you are looking about uh, some return uh, for your living sometime so this policy may create some uh, strain on some people right so see, see here it is clearly mentioned that uh, sanat was unhappy about the zero dividend policy of chl uh, gomas paid exceptional dividend right but did not agree to regular dividends uh, gomas paid exceptional dividend tapu gaman kala durukin givana dividend ekak but did not agree to regular dividend is not a fan of regular dividends right so 
so that may create some problem to some members so already sanas has given his uh, uh, disagreement on that he retained profit and then was able to commence two power projects see so now the property is retained with the business uh, as a result what you can do is uh, he was able to uh, commence two power projects ihala tavalama mini hydro power plant and kand kuliya wind power plant so hydro power wind power plant so see they are in the hydro power business they are in the wind power business so we in five five sources no so already they are in two businesses hydro power and wind power commission in uh, october 2008 the ihala tavalama mini hydro power project utilize water of uh, ratnoya uh, left hand uh, tributary of uh, tributary of uh, gin river uh, right gin river uh, which originate from the singaraja mountain range ginganga no right uh, so it has a 12 uh, megawatt generation capacity the project was successful and later chl purchased three t estate now see uh, right more information is given they are in the plantation industry also and that is one of the problem actually so we can't find uh, some clear picture about uh, their businesses except uh, on their involvement in the uh, renewable energy some of the informations are not uh, uh, much rich actually right uh, so t estate uh, right uh, the project was successful and later chl purchased three t estate yes t estate is uh, unrelated diversifications yes you are correct the project was successful and later chl purchased uh, three t uh, estate in the surrounding area totaling 52 acres of brown tea together with the bare land of uh, 16 acres right uh, they have a residential you know akra uh, dasika so later they may have the opportunity to uh, do some other business activities in india maybe plantations uh, some other plantations the t estate uh, brought several non financial benefit to chl directors uh, see some there are some non financial benefit they visited the area for leisure stay in at the state bungalow near lankagama village uh, there is a state bungalow this new uh, trend in uh, this uh, uh, if you look at the hotel industry uh, this uh, these type of uh, uh, hotels are very popular actually um, so you can see this uh, in plantation company you can see some of the hotels are developed then you can walk to that uh, tea estate and you can right uh, experience that one right so this uh, green concept actually right uh, so is a uh, uh, practice by this uh, hotels also right uh, right uh, so state bangalore near lanka gama village the tea estate management was assigned to devuni and she was successful at it tea uh, estate was managed by the devuni don uh, the don and kandagama families uh, were seen as one family this was attractive and provided many management lessons to similar company uh, they had a good relationship with each other each member had unique talents so this is strength uh, uh, not the similar talent uh, each one has unique talent maybe one may be in technically competent one may be good in marketing another one may be good in finance another one may be good in human relationship like that so they have unique talents and attribute to taking risk in investment so they are willing to take risk they will utilize the bare land for several agricultural experiment now see this earlier it was mentioned that uh, there were 15 acres of bare land yeah right you can see 16 acres of bare land uh, what devuni has done is uh, they will utilize the bare land for several agricultural experiment with the support of the agricultural research institutes to introduce state of the art organic vegetable and fruit packages including the highly demanded button mushroom a major problem she faced was the scarcity of common use of food so does po uh, prairie rooters cultivation so i think another type of uh, uh, mushroom right uh, as such uh, she used several prospective substrate mixtures formulated as potential alternatives technology was introduced for the cultivation of straw 
button milky and medicinal mushroom uh, ganodama lucidium that's again uh, mushroom type uh, it was not an easy operation as an application of mushrooms and plant pathogenic uh, fungi require a lot of effort right this word may be new for you even right uh, some of the words but anyway talk about the uh, mushroom mainly actually so other businesses uh, tea plantation this uh, 16 bear land was there within that actually they uh, right uh, had this uh, mushroom uh, right uh, although several uh, edible and medicinal mushrooms are found in sri lanka people are afraid to exploit this resource due to a lack of knowledge ah then kanna puluwam hoda gunaatmaka mushroom thiyala hamara minisu kanne den ogu lekkal samahata kalle thiyena ohon tara mushroom api podi gala apita matakai kanne aachil ehema gena api ambu wa kanne pa wa waha killa thiyena samahara la people don't have much idea on that part right so they only believe that educating people on how to safely use medicinal mushroom can provide a significant boost to rural income uh, she think that uh, giving education uh, on this uh, healthy med uh, right medicinal mushroom uh, may give a opportunity for rural people to earn some income for example they can go to this uh, some of the forest areas and then they can harvest that one and uh, sell that one simply so boost rural income uh, that may be social responsibility aspects of the business and also the nutrition of people the kandegama and don't family members appreciate devani's unparalleled in innovative thinking and keen interest in business development they were happy on this devani work the members of the two families were also happy with the new proposal put forward by gomas to turn a new chapter at chl with wind power generation ah uh, so there's a proposal coming from gomas to invest in wind power again renewable energy as the government implement the new phase of its renewable energy development policy uh, project was entertained through a competitive bidding process the project was on the build on operate and transfer boot basis this is one of the uh, way of uh, getting the private investment no for infrastructure purposes so you know what is this uh, boot uh, uh, the private investor uh, build it and then own it and for a limited time period they operate that part then after that uh, the ownership is uh, transferred to the government so you have been given the opportunity to invest money in their wind power uh, generations now uh, see now they are going to talk about the wind power uh, generation plant in sri lanka what about uh, uh, the existing uh, market so how many wind farms are available in sri lanka to give an idea nextpara has allocated for that there were five uh, wind farms operating in sri lanka uh, five wind farms operating in sri lanka the wind farm in hammantota the first in sri lanka since 1991 the wind farm in hammantota the first in uh, sri lanka since 1991 generated 3 megawatt the wind farm at ambevala generated 3 megawatt mampuri puttalan generated 10 megawatt siga uh, wantiu generated 9.4 megawatt and vidata munai generated 10.4 megawatt five no five wind farms uh, uh, hammantota is the first one uh, it is a small uh, one only 3 megawatt are generated the number will again small one 3 megawatt megawatt then mampuri puttala that the third one that the largest one actually no no there is there is second largest one it generate 10 megawatt uh, segu wantiu that is 9.0 megawatt and uh, vidata muni that the largest one that generate 10.4 megawatt five no right a team of uh, canadian engineers is researching the installation of wind farm in japna to produce 134 megawatt of electricity and uh, still we have only five uh, uh, see all together the, the roughly they generate around uh, 36 uh, 35 point uh, right uh, 5 36 no yes around 35.8 actually 35.8 megawatt from all these uh, five available wind farm uh, operating in sri lanka but now uh, there's a proposal right uh, now there's a proposal a team of canadian engineers is researching the installation of wind farm in jaffna 
right uh, so they were they want to establish a wind farm in jaffna to produce 134 megawatt electricity which is a huge one 134 megawatt from electricity at the initial phase of the competitive bidding process uh, medium voltage level project up to 10 megawatt were developed through open tenders plotted by the electricity board subsequently ch started wind farm project in 2011 in kandakutiya on the uh, West coast of Kalpitiya, the venture incorporating general wind for this purpose was Centric Wind Wing Company Private Limited. Look at look at that information. Right. Uh, at the initial place of the competitive business, medium voltage level project up to 10 megawatt to develop through open ended support by the electric board. So initially, uh, 10 megawatt uh, project was started. Then later, subsequently, CHL started a wind power project in 2011. Now, they are talking about CHL scenario. Right? CHL scenario. Uh, CHL started a wind power project in 2011 in Kandakutiya. So, their project uh, started in Kandakutiya on the west coast of Kalpitiya. The venture incorporated in January 2011. For, the, for this purpose was centric wind wing Kand the Kutia Private Limited uh, was established. Uh, new company was established. Right? We don't know uh, whether this is 100% owned by us. We'll see that one. And the plant was commissioned in July 2012. Dr. Sharma was directly involved in the project and voluntarily became the director for wind farm operations. The plant consists of 12 wind turbine of 100, uh, sorry, 1,500 kilowatt turbine types and they were connected to the national grid. Recognize the significance of renewable energy and the experience of CWK, the electricity board called for a bit of 100 megawatt wind power development from the private sector in 2020. There were at least three projects that were committed to developing Pinkoli, Madampe and Mannar. Right. So these are opportunities actually. Right. Uh, so 2020, uh, the electricity board called uh, tenders uh, for mega 100 mega for wind power development project. Three uh, opportunities: uh, Pring Komali, Madam Pen, Manna. Uh, opportunity C. Right. Uh, now, uh, see next one: Kandakutiya project. That was the uh, uh, information given related with uh, our company. So they invest in the Kandakutiya uh, wing power project. Kandakutiya project was partnered by B4 Fiber Limited. Uh, this was not owned by us alone, right? So there is another company called B4 Fiber Limited, which contribute to 33% of the equity capital of CWWK. I will look at about this. Uh, I will look at about this centric wind. Right, uh, this centric uh, wind Kandakuti a private limiter CWWK that's not uh, exclusively owned by us. No, uh, there are some other partners. There's a, another company called BFOR Private Limited, they own 33%. So we'll see our ownership. Uh, Right, they may have got some information on that, which contribute to a 30 years of equity capital of CWWK. B4 is an investment management company having equity and debt investment in many industrial sectors. The investment by B4 in 2000 was for a period of 10 years only. Ah, yeah, that's a uh, uh, right, very important information. So after 10 years, they may exit, uh, they may venture capital uh, organizations. So 2022, they may exit from the business. So that will give an opportunity for us to further invest the money in this particular organizations, CWWK company, right? So very important information. Uh, the investment uh, by BFO, uh, BFOR in 2020, 2012 was for a period of 10 years only, or as extended by BPR at the discretion of its board. Or oh, I can be expanded, extended that time period can be expanded. Uh, 
uh, that decision should come from their board. In the event BFR decide to dispose the equity of CWWK, CHL shall buy the shares at an independent valuation. So this is an opportunity. This can be related with your unseen part. Very important information, right? So very important information. We have to closely look at about this. By this 2022, uh, if this BFR board decided to sell the shares, uh, so we have the opportunity to buy the shares. Additionally, Dr. Sharma subscribe for 5% and Goma subscribe for 6%. Uh, this is not uh, company investment. Those are their private investment. Uh, Sharma 5%, Goma 6%. That means 11 or 33 uh, plus 11, 44, 56 may be owned by the company. Right? The company board of directors includes Goma, Dr. Sharma, Nuan and Bandar Kulungoda, the chairman of BPA, BFOR. Sarat was somewhat unhappy and was not convinced about the setup. And he demanded to retire crypto equity in CHL. Uh, he's not happy on this one. He wants to leave. Right? The wind power plant uh, had German made 77 motor uh, diameter plant with a total capacity of 16 megawatt. The plant was successfully operated, generated profit after two years in its commencement. However, the noise effect. Uh, this is something that we have to consider. Uh, how the noise effect of wind power plant to ignore? Uh, very important information. Why? So, one issue is uh, this is not in line with our visions. Uh, not in line with our visions. Our vision say we want to carry out uh, a business uh, which are environment friendly. That is one. So, that may be the reason actually Sanat is not happy on these decisions. Right? On the other hand, uh, within the unseen, there may be some development given. There may be some development given. Uh, for example, uh, right, uh, there may be some uh, problem we are going to face. Maybe uh, right, uh, some uh, resistance, not the resistance actually, maybe some uh, demonstration by the people in the area against the company, maybe some NGO involvement, maybe government involvement. So we are doing something bad uh, to the environment, right? So therefore, uh, so this should be uh, carefully considered. This particular information should be carefully considered. Right? The noise effect of wind power plant were ignored in the peacefully study and was not uh, assessed or budgeted for. Uh, this was not uh, evaluated and uh, not considered when they are going to uh, prepare their uh, budgets. Right? That means uh, sometimes you have to give some, uh, right? Uh, for example, you have to give some uh, uh, compensation, for example. Right? So, we have not considered that one when we are preparing the budgets. Right. Any questions uh, up to this particular point? Do you have any questions? Right. I'm moving to the next shining race. Uh, shining race. Uh, shining race. Uh, our greatest renewable asset is solar. Right. Said Gomez, at the main partner in the company. Uh, uh, believe greater renewable asset is solar. 
at the national energy conference held in december 2012 it was during the time the management of chl was planning to commence solar power generations so we are in the renewable energy already we are in uh, uh, hydropower wind power now uh, in 2012 uh, we thought to enter into the solar energy also now that you are experience the problem uh, we are having as a country we have not uh, uh, focus on these uh, renewable energy sources that's why we have this power cut so this is a golden opportunity for us uh, now also to further invest in this renewable energy sector so our greatest renewable asset is solar said gomes uh, at the national energy conference held in december 2012 it was during the time that management of chl was planning to commence solar power generations we do have great wind resources in sri lanka how about residential and commercial solar also has good potential so you can give uh, this uh, solar to business entities even government is promoting that one now government is having a policy uh, to uh, provide this uh, uh, solar solution to all the government organizations right the residential be individual uh, household right our residential commercial solar also has a good potential and it has grown in the past few years nationally this is an opportunity actually for us even uh, the current government policy is to uh, encourage this area uh, even you can uh, capitalize the opportunity in the government organizations uh, uh, maybe solar panel uh, right uh, can be sold uh, to this government organizations A renewable energy has its limitations turbines and uh, photovoltaic uh, panels only produce electricity if the wind blows and the sun shines <laughs> that is the problem no uh, yes if you have solar if sun not shining then the problem no area the days like this uh, you may not get the uh, right uh, the required uh, voltage from that that's an issue actually right we have seen excellent result and we look for uh, further into innovative policies considering sustainability of clean energy sustainability of clean energy actually this uh, renewable energy one of the advantage is not harm to the environment so is uh, is really advantages so carbon free right with many effort uh, chl uh, for solar project commission in december 2015 so the yeah, first solar project commission in december 2015 This 10 megawatt solar photovoltaic uh, power plant was located in the Diyabadhuma area of the Polonnaru district. So, in Polonnaru, we establish our first solar project. The power plant plant extended over 20 hectares of land. The plant was built with uh, 315 WP and 320 WP. polycrystalline model the plant is equivalent to about 5000 residential rooftop installation uh, you can uh, sell this one to 5000 uh, residential peoples sicil initially invested 100 rupees 700 million in this project which was partially financed through private equity our gomes and his team continue their vision on solar energy generation the managers of the investment technology division and the business development division together with gomes incorporate centric shine rays private into fully own sub of chl in 2019 now we have another company right that is centric shiny uh, rays private limited this is fully own software of us earlier also they give some information about company that was not uh, fully owned by us there was another company partnering with us Now, but this company the solar power one wind power one uh, was partnered by another company but the solar power company is uh, fully owned by us centric shine rays private limited is a fully owned subsidiary of chl in 2019 with the intention of building and operating solar power plant under sia balan duo solar city program the company is a special entity with a memorandum of understanding signed between chl rays power india and the sinakan government uh, there are some other parties who are uh, working with us uh, rays power india uh, then uh, sinakan government for the purpose of developing solar power plant rays power india agreed to supply the equipment inverters and tracker system Uh, they are not having any share ownership but uh, they have a strategic relationship with us uh, they are uh, going to provide uh, uh, equipment inverters and tracker system for us gomas wanted to go with the energy plan of the government and explore business opportunities so gomas want to uh, go with the energy plan of the government explore business opportunities 
Right. Seems a lot of information uh, are there. Right. So, shall we have a 15 minute break and uh, meet at 10.45 since we had a session around 100, uh, one hour and a half uh, time period. One and a half hours actually. Uh, we had uh, sessions. So, shall we have a break up to 10.45? So, again, we'll meet uh, at 10.45.
right so welcome back to the session so so brito uh, at 10 pc so they are providing some more information so brito bandusena member of the energy and climate 50 strategic center malaysia is the chief of the 10 member presidential committee appointed for the nuclear power planning and implementation in sri lanka now this is an interesting area so they are providing some information uh, about the opportunity to invest in nuclear power plant right nuclear power plant uh, so here uh, they have provided uh, some background information government initiative taken uh, they have uh, government has appointed uh, 10 member uh, presidential committee to look at about the opportunities available in uh, nuclear uh, power. So there is a guy called Vito Bandusena. Uh, he's a, a member of the Energy and Climate uh, 50 Strategic Center, Malaysia. Right. At 10 PCS uh, press meeting, we do uh, stress to the members that the committee has the primary role of designing energy plan for Sri Lanka. 10 PC has no role of scientist and the science and technology are clear for all. And the requirement is to find the administrative and managing solution for the energy crisis of Sri Lanka. So their objective is to find administrative and managing solution for energy crisis of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's government is thinking of reducing greenhouse gas emission by 2050. A very interesting one. So, so government is having a plan to reduce uh, greenhouse uh, gas uh, emissions uh, by 2050. Actually, if you look at about this uh, nuclear uh, plant, they are carbon uh, uh, Right, carbon uh, percentage issued to the environment is zero. This is one of the advantage of this nuclear plant. Right, they are uh, issuing zero uh, carbon percentage to the environment. So that's good from environment point of view. So even government is having a plan uh, to go uh, for this uh, greenhouse uh, gas emission by 2050. Then 10 PC had been uh, tasked to develop greenhouse gas reduction target and I five strategies and give recommendations that would consider Sri Lanka's changing energy profile. According to proposed nuclear power project, a massive plant will be established in the northern Sampur area. Sampur is one of the area you have identified uh, to set up nuclear power project. The facility include a reactor that can produce one third of the electricity generated in Sri Lanka. See, one third of the electricity can be generated through this one. I think uh, this proposal was there for so many years uh, due to uh, right uh, some of the protests. Actually, this didn't work. No, we all know that. If that work, actually, uh, we may not face this uh, current back out uh, situation in the country. Uh, the passenger include reactor that can produce one third less generated in Sri Lanka. Operating licenses for the reactor are set to expire in 2060. Until 2060, we can uh, have the license. It is known that the pressurized water reactor is the most trustworthy and popular nuclear technology in the world. 10 PC remain divided on what to do about Sampur, one of the best solutions for the current, current energy crisis. So that may be one of the best solutions in the country. Nuclear energy would greatly facilitate meeting the emission reduction target since it is zero carbon, right? As the reactor do not emit greenhouse gases while in operations. Our health and safety. Uh, but see, there are some concerns. Uh, there are some concerns. Uh, what are the concerns? However, health and safety. This is one concern. Health and safety. The environment aspect and financial viability are strong factors to consider too. Right? If you are asked to do a feasibility analysis on this, these are some of the area you have to look at. Therefore, I am uh, suggesting you to uh, do a analysis on uh, 
this nuclear plant establishment you do analysis what are the health and safety issues what are the environment uh, effect what are the financial viability of that so study on that one and do some analysis on that health and safety the environment financial viability are strong factors to consider to and decision nuclear power plant determine the nation future environment activities have expressed their condition both for and against the implementation of nuclear power plant uh, for probably the zero carbon uh, right uh, issue uh, that may be one of the positive side actually but there may be some other uh, point against this implementation of nuclear power plant gomas pointed to be told that the southeast region of sri lanka more vulnerable to landslide and tsunami hazard than the uh, northeast region However, even under such unfavorable conditions, the southeast region is better for the nuclear power plant due to its low population density. Yes, that's true. No, it's uh, northern areas. No, uh, upon the implementation of suitable landslide and tsunami countermeasures, uh, the southwest region could also be considered for the establishment of the nuclear power plant. The Trincomalee area, those area also may be possible areas. Jaffna, Trincomalee, both can be considered. In addition, an electric grid substation can be found in close proximity to each region. Following the government's policy on renewable energy, uh, the government bank already invested uh, 1.7 billion in 2018 and brought uh, 3.4 billion from private investors, enabling the deployment of 60 megawatt new renewable energy. Yes. Uh, so, government banks like Bank of Ceylon, NSB, uh, uh, then uh, People's Bank, they have uh, provided credit facilities at a lower rate for uh, some uh, companies to uh, invest in this uh, renewable energy sector. Private India enable deployment 60 megawatt of renewable energy. Energy expert promote energy efficiency and investment in renewable energy. They also propose the establishment of a financial institution that is focused solely on using public money to attract private investment in clean energy projects. So there's a proposal uh, to establish a financial institution, separate financial institution to help this, like a separate bank uh, to help on this area. Right? Uh, Dr. Maxwell Sumana, the chairman of the Center for Sustainability at the Vyamba Academy of Higher Education, addressing the gathering of business leaders in 2018, noted the following, what he has mentioned. Sri Lanka has some favorable location in the northwest and southeast region of the country, which can be used for nuclear power plant establishment. There has been a lot of pressure around Sri Lanka's high energy prices and the power crisis is to come. Uh, already we are experienced now. No, he has mentioned that one in 2018 uh, about the power crisis yet to come as the warming goes up. Uh, when uh, warming goes up, what happened? For example, uh, the use of air condition machine increase. Now, even India, there's a power cut taking place in India. I read some article. India, it is mentioned that uh, what has happened in India is uh, high temperature. Because of high temperature, people started to use more these air conditioners. As a result, uh, more demand. And uh, government can't cater to that particular demand. So, the same thing is happened actually. With the uh, warming up, uh, you started to use more air conditioners. And the demand for electricity rises. The focus is on cheap and a constant supply of energy. If we don't build, if we don't build power plant, we will have to purchase emergency power in the near future. So we have to purchase emergency power in the near future. We need a bunch of planning initiatives and comprehensive energy strategy. There are enough experts in Sri Lanka who could build renewable energy infrastructure. We have the required expertise. If wind and solar power infrastructure is developed, China could save a lot of foreign currency too. And then we don't want to spend money on this uh, uh, poor actually. For example, we have to use the diesel no, to uh, create this electricity. So we can stop that one. Uh, even we don't want to buy this, uh, uh, this uh, coal. Uh, so we can uh, right, uh, reduce uh, the foreign ex uh, expenditure on that. Uh, if you can use more wind and solar power. There is no need to attract uh, large foreign investors. We can manage the local exploit and save foreign exchange. Sri Lanka is not a country with uh, fossil energy reserve. 
and it has long been an import of energy right so we all know <laughs> now we are facing a lot of crises now uh, yesterday also i tried two times to go to uh, three uh, petrol station both at time fail uh, because a uh, very long queue and uh, i don't have time to stay long queues therefore i came back but today after uh, i want to find out uh, some uh, poor station and go and wait in there maybe even 4 to 5 hours no options right so, so we don't have fossil energy this how right then it has long been an import of energy so we all know that uh, for a month uh, we need uh, 500 us dollars uh, 500 us dollars to uh, buy uh, this uh, fuel so we are facing crisis since we don't have required foreign currencies at the moment the one exception to this trend would be the hammantur nuclear power stations which is expected to generate approximately 900 megawatt of electricity daily which account for a considerable contribution to sri lanka electricity production according to national energy policy and strategies of sri lanka it is the responsibility of the ministry to identify suitable site to locate future energy infrastructure such as nuclear power plant refineries and terminals the policy further state that new key energy resources will be developed to the optimal level with sufficient environmental safeguards by encouraging market demand for such resources uh, these are good for environment point of view also a new key facility has to be concerned about the disposal of its spent fuel rods and its cooling system sufficiency in case of an emergency based on reactor safety goal expert recommended vvr 1000 and apr 1000 as suitable reactor model for sri lanka nevertheless operating cost and more sticker safety regulation do limit the financial viability of nuclear power plant in general so that mean uh, the operation cost may be high so that may be a, uh, limitations of uh, going with the nuclear power plant right now if you look at about this uh, bitu at 10 pc this is mainly talk about this uh, nuclear plant options uh, we look at about this proposed by synergy synergy uh, after the initial approval of the relevant authorities of sri lanka synergy malaysia corporation berhad synergy in collaboration with ontario power and energy canada opex and power bangi private company of malaysia power bangi prepare a recipe report for the government of sri lanka they have prepare a feasibility report there are three organization actually synergy then opec then power bangi the report provide a feasibility assessment of small uh, small modular reactor development deployment the small modular reactor would cost usd 800 million and is to produce 300 megawatt of electricity much more than traditional nuclear power plant and it is cheaper to mass produce an easier to deploy uh, the cost is low the much smaller stopping propile to 300 megawatt plant is proposed as it would take just 75 people to run the reactor provincial authority should work with the power companies to ensure project development is carried out with the appropriate oversight and that public and indigenous engagement is conducted in responsible respective manner some of the important prospect to include identify key risks you want to identify what are the risks involved here mitigation measures what are the mitigation measures you can take as well as policy and regulatory analysis required to enable and govern deployment of nuclear technology so you can look at about these areas also what are the risks of uh, nuclear technology so what are the mitigation measures uh, uh, we can deploy during the covid-19 pandemic the significance of uninterrupted energy supplies was highlighted uh, now we all know uh, right it's very important it was essential to hospital home delivery put in other essential and enable people to work and study from home while maintaining social contact online the lockdown needed to manage the crisis would have otherwise resulted in a far greater human impact and economic damage meanwhile cockres private limited research company was assigned to study the environmental impact of the proposed nuclear power plant and present series of detailed recommendations right now there are three company name were mentions right we look at about this joint venture information also 
this these uh, this few pages actually starting from this chinese race actually right uh, this bito act bito at 10 pc from this page they talk about mainly about the opportunity of using uh, this nuclear power plant in sri lanka right now they are going to talk about this joint venture company jvc so we look at about that also joint venture company uh, Synergy proposal was interesting and upon the approval by the government, a JVC that will implement the project is to be established through a joint contribution from the three foreign firm for a total of 72% of the equity. Mm -hmm. What are these uh, three foreign firms? Uh, uh, Synergy, OFX, uh, then Power Bank, you know. So they are going to invest 72% of the equity. The, the rest shall be from the domestic, public or private partnerships. The three foreign firms uh, are to invest directly in an uh, unincorporated joint enterprise. Construction work at the power plant will then be handled by the consortium comprising of the three foreign firms construction work and local partners is expected to arrange turnkey contract you know what is turnkey so they will develop and after some time it will be handed over where each company has to perform the specified work of the consortium missions right so now this will be an opportunity for us somewhere there should be an opportunity right is 72 persons uh, invest by these three foreign firm there's a 28 percent ownership uh, opportunity for private companies so we may get an opportunity in there synergy so they talk about synergy synergy a member of petronius group is proud of. it's a past proving independent power producer with an effective capacity of 6420 megawatt comprising seven power plant Right, uh, seven power plant. Right now, they are giving some information about synergy. This is a, a part of Petronian group. And they are one of fast growing independent power producer. Uh, they have the capacity of 6,420 megawatt, comprising seven power plant that run on oil, coal, and solar. So, right, uh, so they normally, in the business of oil, coal, and solar energy, Synergy team with the Malaysian origin. It's a Malaysian company. Synergy team with the Malaysian origin to provide tailor-made integrated solutions. They are going to provide a solutions uh, which are suitable for this it has been successful in the region and globally with nearly 5,000 employees across Asia Pacific, covering 10 countries, including Thailand, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, and Singapore. So they are working in 10 countries. Synergy is experienced with the green loan principles framework. You know what is green loan? That means loans provided for environment friendly projects. Right. It's, even there are some green bonds you can issue, right? green loan principle framework, uh, as published by the International Capital Market Associations. On 5th December 2019, Synergy completed its acquisition of 95% equity interest in Flora Power Company of Bangladesh. Uh, so they have some other companies also. They acquire one of the company in Bangladesh. Uh, Making the first step of synergistic journey across countries, Synergy has produced nuclear power plant in Malaysia and work with OFEC for advanced technology research required for nuclear and geothermal power generations. There are a lot of hints here actually. Now, if you look at about the Synergy capacity, they are a very large company, right? They are a very large company. Then at the same time, uh, if you look at about uh, uh, this uh, synergy, uh, right? So 
they have uh, used an expansion strategy also. Right. As a result of that, actually, uh, they have acquired one of the Bangladesh companies. So this may be an opportunity for them to look at about some investment in Sri Lanka also. Look at this one very carefully. So in the unseen sometime, uh, what can happen is they may say Synergy is interested to buy some stake of uh, our company. Right? So that, uh, that uh, option is also openly available. Right? So think on that also a little bit. So on 5th December 2009, Synergy completes acquisition of 95% of equity interest in Flora Power Company of Bangladesh, marking the first step of a synergistic journey across countries. This is, a, this is the first step. Second step may be Sri Lanka, for example. They may prepare to buy some local company. Synergy has uh, produced nuclear power plant in Malaysia and worked with OPEX for advanced technology research required for nuclear and geothermal power generations. Uh, the company has overseas projects located in Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and Oman. Synergy is ready to invest in the nuclear power project in Sri Lanka. Synergy is ready to invest uh, in the power, nuclear power project in Sri Lanka, and its requirements are stated below. Right, this early it was mentioned that these foreign partners are going to invest in 72% of this uh, proposed uh, joint venture. Uh, from this uh, foreign partners, Synergy, so they are interested to uh, invest. Uh, 32% of the state. Right? So they are interested to invest 32% of the state, lead the construction consortium. They want to become the main party. Being in charge of the general coordination of schedule control, designing the plant construction, supervision, architectural, uh, architectural work, commissioning, etc. The company will operate the plant for a minimum of 30 years. So they will operate a uh, minimum of 30 years. The capital investment of the nuclear power plant include the cost of design, licensing, manufacture, construction, and commissioning. And that is uh, the information about the first company. Then they are going to provide information about the second company, that is OPEX. OPEX. OPEX to be in charge of plant export activities, miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous work, manufacturing turbine generators and electrical equipment for the thermal power plant, manufacturing for gas desulfurations, unloading facilities and incidental equipment for the terminal power plant. OPEC would contribute to 30% stake. Uh, now that uh, Synergy 32, OPEC 30. The total uh, foreign uh, ownership is 72 percent. Then the other part should be 12 percent. No, now, OPEC would contribute to 30 percent stakes and expect and exit after 20 years. Right. Power Bangi to be in charge of manufacturing boilers for the uh, thermal uh, power plant and relevant facilities. The company operate wind and solar power plant in Malaysia. It has a plan for listing on the alternative stock exchange of Kuala uh, uh, stock exchange, Kuala uh, uh, stock exchange, Malaysia. Power Bank was founded in 20, uh, 2010 with the vision of a world powered by renewable energy. The company has been allocating for solar and nuclear energy adoption and has grown to be one of the leading clean energy companies in Malaysia. So power bank uh, percentage should be uh, ten percent, no seven two percent. The foreign players, no. It was mentioned seven two, no. Here it is mentioned that uh, this uh, synergy thirty two, OPEC thirty, then power bank, then ten uh, percent. The local investors, local investors. Uh, Local partnership, they may be public enterprises or private corporations are required to conduct the civil work related to thermal power plant and local supplies. The plan, the, the plan for local financing of the project has identified two strategies. 
they are search for equity partners locally so opportunity for us to become a equity partner in this particular joint venture right search for equity partners locally ideally among existing power producers set up a suitable financing plan including self financing define the role right and responsibility and contract for all provide for adequate financing planning and debt management so for the local investors we have the opportunity to invest up to 28% right so as a company we can also invest here now more information model solar city model uh, solar city so we'll look at about that information also model solar city upon the expiration of the millennial development goals era the united nations development program came up with 17 sustainable development goal we know that about the, uh, we know on that there are 70 sustainable development goal published by the united nations un in other word goal to be achieved by the end of 2030 another goal created is in uh, created in response to significant climate changes caused by fossil fuel and greenhouse gas emission is to improve access to inexpensive reliable sustainable and contemporary energy UN also concerned on this. They prefer to uh, go with these renewable energy sources since uh, that uh, uh, doesn't damage to the environment uh, in much uh, uh, way or not significant damage. They are more environment friendly actually, right? So they have a goal to reduce this uh, carbon footage. The degree of environment deterioration is determined by modeling ecological footprint. Uh, we all know companies calculate this uh, put fins uh, renewable energy consumption economic growth bio capacity and trade policy according to empir uh, empirical studies empirical studies increase in renewable energy consumption lead to decrease in environmental deg degradations caused by negative effect of the economic growth on ecological footprint According to empirical studies, increase in renewable energy consumption lead to decrease in environment degradations caused by negative effect of economic growth on ecological footprint. Not good, no. While ecological footprint was found to impose upward pressure on bio capacity, similarly, financial development positively affects renewable energy consumptions. Right. So then, ah. Uh, so they are going to talk about Sri Lanka a little bit. Majority of the Asian countries receive enough solar energy throughout the year. Yes, this is one of the luxury we have as a country. No, our not much is investing clean energy source such as solar power. Uh, look at Sri Lankan investment very low. Investing in solar energy project is of utmost important and timely requirement for Sri Lanka. This is very important requirement for Sri Lanka, which could be motivated by the finance sector. So there should be some financial facilities. Uh, the bank should uh, provide credit facilities at a concession rate to encourage investment in solar energy, which could be motivated by the financial sector. Uh, it is also responsibility of the financial sector to attract more foreign direct investment for clean energy and environmentally friendly project. It is expected to enter into contract with power producers, providing regular operation and maintenance services of the SPV power plant. For a period of 10 years after commissioning, along with the supply of consumable item as and when necessary. Further, the submission of daily performance data of the power plant will come under the operation and maintenance contract. The breakdowns, uh, maintenance of the entire system, including supply of necessary spare part, if any, is already under the coverage of the warranty clause of the specific condition for a period of 120 months on the date of commissioning the, of the power plant. You have a warranty period of. Uh, Right, uh, 10 years, no? That's good. Now, this is a future development of wind and solar capacities. Wind capacity, 2022, 268. That increase uh, up to 543 in 2026. Look at this uh, solar capacity. 2026 uh, become double actually. So, 2022, it is 1039. But 2026, it is 2024. So you have good opportunities in both areas.
the ministry expect to declare sea balan do as a model solar city yeah one of the city for which a master plan was already prepared and submitted for approval then pc is expected to approve the master plan it is expected that the model solar city would be contributed by the private power producers in sri lanka so you have opportunity in there based on the proposal then pc has carried out a complete site survey and pcb study and prepare a detailed project report for the following four site park hope park isere park spark park northern bee right now uh, they are going to provide information about the leaderships right so normally uh, in a case uh, you can identify this information at the beginning but after you have provided a lot of information so you are going to talk about the leaderships so we'll go through that gomas has gradually become a dominant corporate leader so dominant corporate leader and is now well recognized for his delivery of business talks in public uh, is going uh, and addressing public right so he's a visionary leader now right uh, his view is that power and energy businesses have limited growth global today according to him ch should be a diversified business and a brand that should go beyond the island attracting global revenue so he want to make the company as a global company not as a uh, not restricting as a domestic company you got to expand the business activities is someone uh, having a good visions vision and leader i will attracting global revenue rather than domestic revenue go must explain to the media the following availability of sunlight grid technical staff around the clock security and a high caliber professional team are the key motivation for us sunlight should be an opportunity to use no right uh, grid uh, opportunity technical staff should be a strength around the clock security should be a right uh, strength high caliber professional team should be a strength Look at the next point. Centric Shine Race (CHR) is the technical leader for solar energy. So we are the leader in solar solar technology. Should be a strength. It should be a strength. And we plan for huge investment in renewable energy as shifting the responsibility of Centric. Centric has twenty professional uh, engineers specialized in power and energy, and ten professional for business development strategy. We have thirty uh, professionals. These are strength for us. Centric serve its employees at its best. Good point, strength. So, so we treat employees really well. Hence, employee loyalty is at its. Hence, employee loyalty is at its top. so employees are loyal to the organization strength we are seeking a foreign investment as we already have a business diversification plan ah we are seeking a foreign investment right so this malaysian company uh, may try to invest on us as we have already a business diversification plan so we have a business diversification plan we need to draw revenue by selling anything engaging in cross border trade with the chl brand or bring foreigners here to spend their money so that chl discharge is responsible to the society we need to draw revenue by selling anything engaging in cross border trade with the chl brand or bring foreigners here to spend their money so the chl discharge is responsible to the society so one option we want to go for in and earn some income other option is we invite foreign investors to come and invest in with us so that will uh, bring some foreign exchange we should be a nation processing many global brand for traditional natural agriculture herbal organic and synthetic true no we are still uh, dealing with uh, tea uh, uh, coconut uh, uh, and rubber so our brands uh, uh, mainly uh, connect with the tea these are traditional brand we don't have uh, technological brands in the world market 
We can find market for our harvest if we use advanced technology for preservation and packaging. The CHL team along with GOMAS is ready to commence a solar project in the model Sora city. So we are uh, planning to invest in, uh, in this solar city. Solar power suggestions are based on socioeconomic justification in the context of current uh, technologies and the emerging requirement for renewable energy, solar power can be utilized to its full potentials. Additionally, governments ask they need to develop a agri food concept and establish the agriculture arm of CHL. Now look at this point. Uh, so we are ready to invest in solar project in the context of current technologies and emerging requirement for renewable energy solar power can be utilized with full potential additionally look at this sentence very important one additionally governments ask they need to develop a agri food concept and establish agriculture arm of chl uh, so they want to set up a separate agricultural company at the moment, we are in the tea plantations and we have some uh, other product also. Uh, you remember that uh, 17 bear land uh, with mushroom, right? So we want to expand this area. Opportunity may be available in that area. Develop an agri-food concept establishing the agriculture arm of CHL. The second goal is in the list of the United Nations Development Program is to end hunger within which sustainable agriculture is emphasized. Hence, Devonese strengths in agribusiness agri can be rewarded with the expansion of availability of green funds. So this is an opportunity. So we can expand the business activities in those areas. Bito uh, remained undecided about the offer made by Synergy for the new smaller model nuclear power plant. He was waiting each argument for and against of the 10 PC committee members. Bito called Gomez, the CEO of CHL in the late 2021 and inquired whether CHL would be willing to take part in proposed consortium for the nuclear power project. So the local uh, partners uh, have the opportunity to invest up to 28% of the stake. Right. So, so we have invited for that one. Additionally, uh, Bito requested Gomez and the team to study the proposal and feasibility and give recommendation considering the national responsibility for the leading professional in the industry. Synergy and 10PC strongly agree that there should be two equal local units for total stake of 18% of the consortium. Uh, this 28%, uh, then they want to uh, give 18 to two investors. That means 9% opportunity is available for one local investor. While the government should contribute the balance, that means 10%, no? Uh, the 72 percent uh, invested by the foreign free firm then local have the opportunity to invest 28 percent from the 28 percent two local investors are uh, given 18 percent that means government is having the opportunity to invest 10 percent that one local investor is having the opportunity to invest nine percent no yes Bitter invited major power producers in the country to study the synergy proposal and request them to convey their willingness to participate in the consortium and provide technical advice of significance. Gomez is optimistic in new investment and willing to capitalize his political connection in the new investment process. He captured the opportunity of getting involved in the nuclear project and brought the proposal to the board of CHL, expecting an advanced discussion among the professionals on the board. Now he want to have uh, some uh, good discussion about this particular proposal. It was interesting as the company has the expected experience in the industry. Engineer Nuan emphasized that the board approach of synergy support decarbonization as these plants are different than traditional large nuclear plant. The reactor uses helium as a coolant instead of water. The nuclear project is more manageable in size, short in duration and lower in total cost, putting the project into a realm of the possibility more benefit, reducing the capital required for a single project as well as reducing the overall risk of implementation. Seems to be a good investment for us, no? This open up uh, a range of new possibilities and is the basis of the market assessment. Uh, seem to be a good opportunity. However, look at that point. 
Dr. Sharma did not agree with the implementation of nuclear reactors with exceptional financing pan and explained the potential negative consequence to a small country like ours. Uh, there are some problems. She's an educated lady, no? She uh, didn't agree on this. She explained the finding of researchers and described uh, why nuclear reactors are worse for an island nation like us. It was at this point that Sanath highlighted the fact that although CHL was growing well in the past, many of the management decisions were not aligned with board members' choice. Ah, so that is something to be considered. Look at, look at that point. It was at this point that Sanat highlighted the fact that although CHL was growing well in the past, many of the management decisions were not aligned with board members' choice. This management may be powerful and not listening. Uh, what is told by the board should be a weakness. Right? Sanat is not happy on that. At least uh, investment decisions have to be with the agreement of all board members. And she should not be a one-man show. Ah, ah, who can go must ah, probably dominating. He's the CEO. He may be dominating. It will be a weakness. Others are not happy on this. See, see, see this point. Very important point. One-man show. Right? So that guy ah, uh, do whatever he want. He's not listening to the board members since he's a CEO, right? So that's why he said that management issues were not aligned with the board members' choices. He may execute something uh, else. Uh, so at least huge investment decisions have to be with the agreement of all board members and it should not be a one-man show, key information, one-man show. For example, my proposal to begin the wind farm at Punia was declined instead it was started in Kandakutia. Uh, the different pay it was invested. The advantage we lost is now a cash cow for our rival. Uh, one of the rival uh, company invests in there and uh, it becomes a successful business. Cash cow, you know, cash cow, BCG metric, who is a cash cow, uh, someone who is at the material stage and capable of generating a lot of cash to the business. That cash can be used to invest in other uh, question marks. Uh, uh, so, uh, we have missed out that opportunity. Uh, so that is what he is highlighting. We are not for the business, but the business is for us. Let us listen to Dr. Sharma, who is an expert in energy development project, say Sanat. Right? So not happy. Sanat is not happy. Right? Uh, what is going on? One uh, family member is dominating that uh, Goma's other party. On the Khandagama family, this other party, Gomas may be dominating in the decision making. So, something to be carefully considered should be a weakness. A dominance by one person is a weakness. Ah, next point say this, see this Gomas. Ah, he is the one man. Ah, like Sri Lanka, I don't want to tell the name. <laughs> Sri Lanka, there was one guy you know, who dominate uh, in all political decisions, right? Similar to that, right? So, Gomez explained uh, to Sanat that he has not taken any decision on partnering with the nuclear consortium, but was analyzing the proposal and the trading capacity of CHL with the business development managers. Union was a good uh, alternative and Gomez has said the mistake of mislocating the wind farm project. Uh, he, uh, except that mistakes. Our Poonium had not been given final permission but already due to several political reasons at the time the wind farm commenced. Uh, maybe someone has uh, right uh, taken the political favor uh, through their political connections. The other competitor may get that opportunity but we fail uh, to uh, get favor for us. That is coming. Uh, not uh, right. Uh, we had a requirement we had uh, this he also interested to invest in there but unfortunately failed uh, uh, due to possibly failure to get the required political help on this business manager explained to the board of chl that a strong domestic supply chain is a critical success factor for the deployment of such reactors in planning for nuclear supplies and also nuclear research including uranium mining would be essential the flexibility and experience of suppliers will be important deployment 
complement the capabilities of our companies right so this uh, these few pages were allocated to show you the opportunities exiting nuclear uh, plant investment now uh, is going to show you some more opportunity for you investment in uh, hotel industry so we'll go through that information also beach wave to chl beach uh, wave to chl in december 2021 gomas review a proposal from iam club hotel unawatuna bentot and koggala the hotel management was seeking finance to recover from losses equity strength you, we know that what happened to the hotel industry uh, so uh, it was hit by uh, easter sunday attack first then uh, the covid 19 pandemic now it is again hit by uh, uh, this due to this uh, political instability in sri lanka uh, even uh, locals are also not going there because of this poor crisis uh, we don't have fuel to go to hotels no uh, this hotel sector is badly affected right the hotels uh, management was seeking finance recover from losses equity strength as an option the hotel management has expressed they have been not to dispose the entire hotel chain uh, they want to uh, dispose uh, the investment and leave hence gomas had to decide on a commercial loan of uh, lkr 900 million no bid for the acquisition of iam club hotel private bank have offered facility iam club hotel however their lending rate had been excessive Because the challenging mistress risk of IM Club Hotel now also this uh, you know that lending rate is going up uh, it is around twenty five percent now right so it's not right time to invest uh, so Gomez presented the proposal to the board of CHL and stated that this is the best time for CHL thing beyond the core business however the result was not as expected the investment was not agreeable for the Kandegam family members except for Devuni there are four Kandegam family members no. three rejected this one who was willing to acquire am club hotel instead of lending for a fixed return and term they only explained that the hotel's low revenue was normal due to the economic recession it does not mean it has no prospect investing in a new industry is worth as business can be reduced we all know that the education help us to reduce the business risk no one son other than dr sharma disagreed with lendo by a dying business now this dying business a uh, very low uh, potential in hotel industry uh, with this current uh, economic crisis i am club hotel was an unsuccessful business that experienced continual losses over several years they disagree with the proposed shift in focus from the core business in the energy sector at a time like this when there is an energy transition with more opportunities available for renewable and sustainable sources the main issue was their expectation on solar and non conventional renewable energy project include the opportunity rise from uk power expectation they don't like to go to some other industry they think uh, are to expand uh, within the existing business itself so we are specialized in the power and energy sector historically sector specialization has clear advantages as it related to knowledge about technology experience and incumbents in the industry uh, we have no expertise so exposure deal with the hotel industry uh, they don't have that exposure as expert we have realized the changes in the energy sector as environmental imperative increase electricity and commodity prices rose clean energy infrastructure emerge the power deficiency shortage of thermal power inputs and climate concern have proven that clean energy is a requirement not an options as a requirement the big companies who change from co competencies have lost their business in the past and we have to understand our strain explain dr sharma she is not happy on this no Gomas insisted on social impacted investment rather than financial sustainability. M Club Hotel has been recognized as an excellent Sri Lankan healthy food club hotel and an out of the treatment service provider. They have good brand name, no? Gomas was smart at acquiring other business and did not care about the risk of buying a loss making entity. Is a visionary leader. Is uh, a transformation leader. He is always willing to take the risk, no? he believe in his own management skill land the strategic location of the hotel chain thus a shift in business from the power and energy sector was seen a better strategy respective of the disagreement he asked the business development division manager to produce an analysis of the strength and opportunities mapping them with the aspiration of rizal analysis to give an idea on the acquisition of iam club hotel right uh, so earlier it was mentioned that uh, that sanat mentioned that uh, 
the board decisions are not executed at the operational level so here also majority of the board members disagree on this but still this gomes want to go with this particular proposal right he is a one man show guy right he is not listening he is asking uh, business team to uh, look at about the opportunity available right uh, how upon the decision of the business team to manage short analysis Gomes explained that it had no meaning to him when it was not what he asked for. Uh, something wrong with the software analysis done by that guy, right? So what is his requested was not delivered. Uh, there is a sort uh, given by uh, uh, given in the case actually, right? Uh, that uh, given sort is not sufficient. From uh, that information, Gomes can't take decisions. The very important uh, para, right? So we have to carefully look at about this one. The Gomes explained that it had no meaning to him, and it was not what he asked for. Purpose is not served. He required further analysis of the. Ah, look at look at. Now this is an area examiner can test in the exam. Now you have opportunity to acquire a hotel. He asked to come up with the sort analysis, right? That sort is not sufficient. He need further analysis. So you can do these analysis before you are going for the exam. Now, what are the different analysis he require? He require further analysis of the climate of the industry, climate of the industry, the hotel industry. So, what the tool you can use? You can use Pyposa's model to evaluate the attractiveness of the hotel industry. So you can uh, do that analysis, right? So Pyposa's model analysis should be done. Uh, and should carry that one uh, uh, to the exam. Climate of the industry, addressing what the company want to be doing. Uh, there are more points to be considered. Our uh, company want to be doing who the company want to serve and where the company will operate. Very important sentences. So if you look at about this part, look at this again. I'm highlighting this again. What the company want to be doing? Who the company want to serve? Customer profile. What are the products and service you want to deliver? Right. That's the first point. Second one. What is your customer profile? Where the company will operate? So that is locations. Right. So here there are a few marketing concepts to be addressed. So especially the STP process. You have to address the STP process, segmentations, targeting, and positioning. Uh, you can segment the hotel industry customers. From those segments, you can identify a particular segment. For example, there may be a segment who want to uh, use uh, beach hotels. There may be a segment who want to use uh, some green hotels. Uh, eco uh, hotels, in other words, right? So, like that, you have to identify the different segment. Then, from those segment, you have to identify what is the segment this particular hotel is serving, and and what is the positioning strategy? Is that as a uh, low cost uh, one? In other words, budget hotel. Is that as a differentiated hotel? Are they going to provide a differentiated experience to the customers? So those aspects should be carefully analyzed by you. So very important points, right? He wanted to identify the meaning of ensuring progress and the overall plan of the company to be followed. Right? He wanted to identify the meaning of uh, ensuring progress and the overall plan of the company to be followed. According to Gomez, CHL should change based on the forward-looking study that incorporate level of accountability by redefining the company. He wanted a way that's try to be forward thinking with the potential of the business. He asked for an analysis that focus on the positive element more likely to influence CHL and aspiration addressing what the company want to be doing in the future and their result. When uh, considering viability, Commerce asked to use an investment decision metric. Ah, this one also very important area, right? He want uh, these analysis. Investment decision metric that include risk analysis. You have to look at about the risk. Uh, investing in hotel, 
what about the market condition is this market favorable and financial and social impact so assessment of the background profile of the company evaluation of the background uh, of the company the operational and legal considerations and a recency demand that there are contingent plan in place right look at about these point very carefully and try to do analysis based on these informations right so very important one so look at about short term is given for chl strength so rising rate of investment that mean you may get a better return establish infrastructure we have good uh, establish infrastructure know how energy efficient technology we have some uh, uh, knowledge on this uh, technology ability to identify into hotel sector Uh, we have the uh, strength to diversify financial may be strong political support for power sector strength or it may be uh, opportunity actually ability to raise is able to diversify into hotel sector may be opportunity political support for power sector may be an opportunity you can consider like that focus on possibilities weaknesses what are the weaknesses we have grow in demand for energy right uh, should be a opportunity no not a weakness right rising cost of electric grid it should be a, a weakness rising cost of electric grid so if it is uh, incur internally right uh, as a result of uh, internal problem then then it will be a weakness but if it is uh, occur due to external factor that should be a threat employee attritions that mean employee turnover ratio no that mean employees are leaving that's a weakness true low rainfall in plant locations uh, it should be a, a right some sort of a threat for survival inconsistent wind breeze seasons uh, so again threat health risk for workers weakness impact of economic crisis threats actually look at this uh, sort carefully is something wrong with this sort do you agree some of the points are not correctly done do you agree with my point see within the strength also we found some of the point not uh, considered as a strength within the weakness also we found some of them uh, not considered as a weakness should be considered as a threat so, so i think this prepared one may not be correct correct one right so you, you can come up with a revised uh, sort for the chl right the opportunity model solar city concept that's true seasonable increase in the number of days of sunlight opportunity yes nuclear power project proposal opportunity yes production of solar cell opportunity going public opportunity organize health care center uh, opportunity high investment in people opportunity threats compliance and regulatory risks yes there are a lot of compliance to be adhere should be a threat for business survival uncertain in climate policy and carbon pricing government policies are changing threat yes commodity price volatility threat workers are demand threat increasing operation cost threat enhanced livelihood people uh, right so that may be a, a enhanced livelihood of people may be opportunity no right uh, in several board meetings were held to discuss the hotel investment in details the board was explain the current macroeconomic environment uh, condition in the hotel uh, business and factors unique to i am club hotel that would make this is highly advantages time to buy the hotel chain to realize true value nevertheless kandagama family members did not agree instead no one expressed a willingness to retire from chl as he want to spend retired life live in the country he doesn't know uh, want to invest this dr sharma also mentioned that she did not want to continue being a board member uh, crisis company crisis situations and disclaimed her intention to retire her uh, she has in chl upon decision to acquire am club hotel dr sharma's uh, youngest child and husband ryan left for america for the child's uh, high education 29 and her elder child also has uh, also been at the same america since 2018 Our family is in USA. Dr. Sharma also want to go there. Our Devni was positive about the new business acquisition and said she was so happy to leave the hotel. 
the other three Kandagama family members negotiate later and agree to continue as shareholders. However, Dr. Sharma did not agree to represent the board, director board. Later in 2022, Dr. Sharma resigned from the board of CHL. Uh, later in 2022, uh, she has already left, right? As it was something that did not interest her in terms of her retired life. In order to meet an immediate commitment, Dr. Sharma re required an exit from CWWK. Hence, the company offered her equity share to CHL at LKR 200 million. This was not agreed by B4, uh, B4R, who was management by out to repurchase the equity shares of Dr. Shama by CWWK uh, itself or offer them to a follow-on buyer. BFR officially informed the board of CW, however, that the company is not willing to extend this investment. Uh, there are some disagreements. Right. This information are vital. Right. This information are vital. Uh, this uh, may be connected to unseen information. Option may be given uh, related with these areas. Uh, financing options may be given. Going public at uh, rupee 50 per share. The business development division's proposal on how the capital market is good for an initial public offering was quite interesting to the board of CHL. Uh, uh, now you are thinking about IPO also to get more funds. After having 28 IPO last year, the Columbus Stock Exchange stated that it already has five to six IPO in the pipeline for this year. Uh, capitalizing on expected growth, Gomas and the team uh, at CHL decided to launch an IPO on the Dirisavi board of the Columbus Stock Exchange. I'll see, decide to launch an IPO. Already we have taken the decision to uh, register at Columbus Stock Exchange. Gomas expect to raise 10 billion through an offer for a subscription. Accordingly, the company would issue 200 million new ordinary voting shares of the company at 50 each. Gomas stated in the report of directors the following. Right, we will utilize 3 billion from the total proceed raise to reduce long-term debt outstanding goods, right? We try to reduce this long-term debt gearing uh, should situation should be improved. They are trying to improve that situation. The company expect to utilize the Proceed immediately after obtaining the listing. The bankers told us we are, were not getting credit for the new business line. We we're looking for diving into hotel industry and nuclear energy exploration. So now 10 million. No? So some of the fund we are planning to use for uh, buy this uh, hotel and uh, to expand business activity in UK area. Bank think that the new venture signal possible volatile for the investor. Company has such a metronic price, I know we can find the market by out equity. The offered shares shall upon uh, alertment ran equal and verify in all respect with the existing owner shares of the company. And each new share will confirm the right to one vote on a fall. Voting shares are going to be issued. No? Moreover, it gives the right to an equal share in any dividend that may be paid out by the company after allotment of the per share and the right to an equal share in the distribution of surplus assets of the company in liquidation. For the independent valuation report prepared by Opportunity Driven Business Advisor Private Limited, in line with Rule 3.143 of the Columbus Stock Exchange Listing Rule, the value range of a share of CHL between 60, 60 and 45. These are more financial related uh, areas. Your finance uh, lecturer may uh, uh, explain this more, right? So this is the uh, suitable valuation for us, uh, right? Shares of CHL between 66 and 45. Hence, the offer price is at the discount of 24 based on the discount cash per method and not learn point, learn point premium from the book value per share. ODB has used a cost of capital of 16.5% in discount the projected cash flow and assume a mature state growth uh, rate of 3% for the period beyond the five-year forecast considering the long-term growth rate of the economy. However, these discount rate and growth rate were not agreeable. And Goma asked the consult to explain the duplication of risk in the rate of return and the linear terminal growth rate expectation. The consultant finally changed the report, giving many assumptions, but did not change the rate of return. It is expected that the company will meet the minimum public holding requirements set out in CST listing rule. As part of the IPO process, CHL had to arrange presentation to investment bank to determine the level of market interest. The underwriting bank did not agree with the first subject to the IPO, uh, going public to settle the borrowing of the company. The professional team explained that a company going public should propose a viable investment upon which the investor can rely on the growth potential. 
our gomas explained that the company has a strong asset base with a many project in operation and there is no liquidity crisis or financial distress and chl does not require public money to overcome any financial crisis based on the negotiation chl decide that there is no minimum amount required to raise in this offer ah risky right risky one the company does not arrange underwriting with regard to this offer risk is too much uh, in a case of uh, not subscribing enough so what will happen right so you are not going for underwriting arrangement that mean uh, right uh, so we have to pay back to money to the investors again right in case of a not subscribing uh, uh so even we are not uh, uh, mentioning a minimum amount risky decisions all these are risky decision even though chl is optimistic in the when the issue is unsubscribed and thereby the company is unable to pull the minimum public hold requirement for section 2.12 of this risking load the company return all money is received from the company uh, not good uh, now it has given some informations uh, about the uh, computation by odb uh cost of capital computer risk pay rate 11.90 but now i think this has to be revised again no now i think pressure bill rate is around 23 24 so what is given is not practical in the market uh, environment uh risk pay rate is around 23 24% now unlevered beta 1% levered beta 1.24 uh, this is a market risk and on market uh, uh, risk no non market risk equity risk premium 5% cost of equity rating 0.10 cost of debt 10.32 capital stock of chl 9 to 10 vac t 16.5 by this may be more illustrated by your financial lecture i am not going to talk on much on that right so this information is important they have given information relevant to i am club hotel you have to analyze these informations right uh, because uh, this will be an uh, option given to acquisition purpose right so stated capital it has been increased no capital reserve revenue reserve uh, look at this revenue reserve what has happened uh, minus loss no that indicate loss their loss is increasing so you have to analyze these informations a look at this uh, information 2021 so loss situations earning per share 4.29 minus in 2021 net value for share is reducing so company is struggling in 2021 right then uh, director board shareholding has been given then the chl information have been given right so revenue has been increased uh, the profit uh, is significant in the organizations uh, so it has been increased except in 2022 2020 is not uh, significant so property plant uh, and equipment increase i see this investment has been increased 2021 uh, it has been 2.2 billion right so do more analysis uh, based on this uh, some financial analysis can be done by you uh then uh, shall we have a break uh, again maybe 10 minute break uh then at 12 uh, after 12 uh, maybe after 5 minute
right 12 past 5 uh, shall we meet again to discuss uh, the powerpoint presentations
Right. Uh, shall we continue uh, the balance part? So I have shared the presentation uh, under the chat. So everyone can download that one. So I will share with the uh, CEO also. I will share with the Aruna. Aruna also will uh, share the material with you. I hope you have received that. Right. So, uh, so yeah, I try to extract some of the informations uh, from the case. Uh, so we know that uh, so Kandigama company was uh, acquired uh, by the CHL, and CHL was incorporated in 1999. Uh, it was promoted by the Don Gomez. Right. So Don Gomez, uh, he said, I'm a business leader. He understand the importance of inspiring others and achieving success through teamwork. Uh, he's a co-founder of Centric Quality Limited. So his father is the other partner. He's an engineer, Zima, qualified accountant and master holder. Uh, this is the other partner. This is Thomas, uh, Topaz Gomez. He's the father of... Uh, he's a father of uh, don he was an engineer he's having a experience of 30 years uh, uh, as a chief engineer he has uh, awarded uh, some presidential award for his inventions and he has obtained a, a patent for magnetic gearing mechanisms so this is the CHL shareholding structure. Do you agree with this one? Look at this KPC, Pandegama, this uh, company. Dr. Sharma, Sanat, Devuni, Nuan had 25% equal shareholding. Then CHL, uh, the Gomez family, right? Uh, Gomez uh, family is 55%. It is silent. How much owned by Don Gomez and the Topaz Gomez? We can assume that Topaz Gomez uh, may not be there. Uh, probably this uh, Don Gomez uh, is having the 55% ownership of the CHL. Or oh, even uh, father's uh, share ownership may be shifted to him. Or oh, still father may be there as a sleeping uh, partner. Uh, and uh, right, uh, this Topaz may be a sleeping partner. Don uh, is the dominant partner. We already know that. Uh, right, uh, this uh, Don is dominating uh, the business, right? Uh, do you agree uh, with this shareholdings, right? So here the case name is the power of Don, no? right? So probably uh, this uh, Don uh, is dominating. He may be having the uh, shares of the Topaz Gomez also. Do you agree with this structure? percentage. So no one, it was mentioned 15%, then other three members uh, equals 10%, 10%. Uh, because 45% uh, was given to the Kandegama family members and uh, the Gomas family members kept uh, 55%. Any concerns on this? Do you agree with uh, this composition? Okay. So what are the CHL business areas? So at the moment they are in the renewable energy sources, hydropower, uh, wind power and solar power. This is the main business of them. So these are the main business of them. Uh, so in addition to that one, they uh, have some tea plantation also. And then uh, they sell organic vegetable and food packages also. But the second uh, area, tea plantation and organic are not co-business. Co-business is uh, involved with the re renewable energy sources. So they are leading solar power. No? CHL structure, those information are not given. 
right so based on the some of the information given i try to uh, illustrate something this uh, the cwwk there's a company you know within their chl is having 56% ownership then uh, this uh, centric shine rays that is in the solar industry they have 100% ownership on there in addition that one there may be certain other arms uh, right uh, so that information is not provided uh, for example they are in this uh, tea plants and organic vegetable no? so they may not have a separate company on that one that's why i think in uh, some else it was uh, asked uh, to devine to expand that one that business so maybe within the cha holding itself maybe a small uh, unit may be there right so what are the opportunities available based on the facts given in the case opportunities for chl so they have the opportunity to invest in new care plant so that information was given uh, in large extents then uh, they have another opportunity to invest in hotel sector uh, that uh, hotel information was given then uh, establish agricultural arm you can expand the activities in the agricultural area then energy uh, power sources so there are normally there are three energy power sources uh, fossil fuel nuclear energy and renewable energy we are in the renewable energy sector fossil fuel you can use coal natural gas and petroleum now we are thinking about to move to this nuclear energy sector also still we are in the renewable energy these are three uh, we have three uh, areas no hydro power we have invest in hydro power wind power and the solar power so still we are in the uh, renewable energy sector and uh, we are considering in the opportunity to expand our business sector to nuclear energy sector also if you look at renewable power sources solar energy from the sun geothermal energy from heat inside the earth aro ोटर in 26% today it is expected to reach uh, 35 30% by year 2024 so there is a gradual increase expected that means uh, still uh, in within our co business we have more opportunities this is silicon electricity uh, electricity sources so cb uh, coal 143.18 noracholi no uh, contribution is 43.18 if uh, noracholi is broken down you can get an idea about the impact it can make uh, oil terminal uh, they have to uh, 8.41.46 but we know that uh, when there's a issue uh, in the uh, hydropower normally we increase this one no we started to use uh, diesel to create electricity no then uh, you can find this lakshapana complex hydro 10.01 mahaveli complex hydro 27.92 samanalbeva kukuleganga small hydro 0.19 these are uh, hydro power sources wind 2.7 uh, wind uh, 2.7 so if you summarize this one uh, pole percentage uh, 43.18 oil 8.47 hydro power is the largest one 44.62 wind 2.7 it is 44.6 is the largest one uh, wind power lowest contributor it is uh, 2.7 and look at the cost of renewable power sources solar between rupee 9.5 uh, to 11 wind 8.5 coal 14.5 solar is a low cost no so good option actually to expand that one uh, wind also cost is very low so we can uh, more focus on these areas coal power plant problems 
not only totally, what are the problems asthma cancer heart and lung alignment neurological problem acid rain global warming uh, there are some uh, other environment public health impacts clean energy target in the world so look at sri lankan target is 35% target in 2030 so it's not good no so we have to more focus on this uh, uh, non environment uh, sorry uh, we have to more focus on environment friendly options no other countries focus on that usa for example they have set a target uh, to achieve 100% clean energy in 2035 uh, but our target is only 35% which is considerably low compared to other countries then uh, dividend policies normally there are four dividend policies uh, regular dividends stable dividend irregular dividends and no dividends here actually zero dividend policy has been used so sanath had a concern on that one right. so regular dividend mean uh, regularly every time you pay the dividend every year you pay the dividends right uh, regular dividends uh, stable dividends mean a percentage equal percentage we'll say 5% every year you pay 5% uh, dividend illiro dividend mean uh, when company think to pay they pay dividends right your finance lecture may talk on this more but better to put uh, real figures you can analyze uh, real figures so i think uh, so right i have talked about lot of uh, theories uh, with you actually is your duty to work with your team members i hope that you are working with some of your team members and do all these analysis you have to work uh, more with this right and then there is a company establish on this wind power cwwk there is a third party company that is b4 private limited bfr private limited they own 33% dr sharma is having personal ownership that is 5% gomas also having a personal ownership 6% then chl percentage should be 56 do you agree on this any concerns on this right then uh, proposed joint venture company nuclear plant so foreign firm is going to uh, put 72% local firm 28% there are three partners foreign firm synergy they have invested uh, 32% opec 30 power bank 12% local government 10% then uh, local first company local second company each 9% so we have the opportunity to become one of them so you can become one of them right i ah, yes sorry uh, power bank 10% no yes mistake huh? uh, this should be 10% correct that power bank 10% right uh, so they are talking about the uh, ipo initial public offering so what are the advantage of ipo so you will be able to raise capital so you can get a higher valuations for your shares you can fund um, mergers and acquisitions for here example here we have the opportunity to acquire one of the hotel so it help you to reduce debt so that is one of the objective of ipo also in our company uh, so you can uh, maintain corporate identity and you can become a better known company so you can attract more people retain employees people are happy to work in a listed company since it is having more uh, good governance principles at the same time there are some disadvantage also 
what are disadvantages uh, so permit commitment it's not easy to uh, uh, issue uh, shares tomorrow and get the fund it may take at least two to three years so distraction from business and miss opportunities you may miss out some opportunities uh, during that period right cost of issuing shares you have to spend money to go for ipo so there are a lot of uh, public information so you have to give some uh, internal information to the public when you are going for ipo it's a disadvantage there are some risks not completing the ipo process uh, cost may be incur but uh, right uh, it may not be successful cost of capital will be increased because uh, you are issuing shares no we know that uh, equity cost is higher than the debt cost no that is older principle in finance equity always attach more cost than the debt right so that will increase the cost of capital so not moving can't you see can't you see the next slide this tax rate for the renewable energy sector can't you see can no okay 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 uh tax rate for the renewable energy sector now uh, with this uh, inland revenue amendment act number 10 of 2020 uh, there's a concession concession rate is given it is 14% tax rate it is maximum tax at 14% so this financial analysis for the company these are financial informations i did a vertical analysis uh, if you look at the pnl uh, so cost of sales uh, uh, has not increased much no as a percentage so initially in 2016 it was around 59% but now it is 49% that's good actually so gross profit is also good now it is 51% then uh, these other expenses also not increase much even finance expense is manageable so profit see this net profit uh, percentage is good actually 26% so if you look at the horizontal analysis uh, increase uh, in each variable so revenue has increased but the percentage has uh, uh, reduced to some extent growth percentage has reduced no for example 2017 it was around 38% growth rate but in 2021 it has come down to 8% cost of sales is managed well no so gross profit has increased by 45% in 2021 that's good then uh, tax expense has been increased significantly so to look at about the reason for that one there may be some information related with that one profit has been increased in 2021 uh, but in 2019 2020 uh, it has reduced actually so if you look at about the the profit figures uh, yes no see this 2019 profit has reduced no compared to 2018 and uh, 2020 it has further reduced but in 2021 we have recovered again then the balance sheets balance sheets uh, property plant uh, percentage is very high uh, in uh, initially it was around 90 figures in 2021 it has become around 86 uh, uh, what about this uh, loan term borrowing uh, that's manageable no in 2016 uh, it was around 19% but 2021 it has come down to uh, 9.20% horizontal analysis uh, there is one significant increase that is current assets uh, sorry current liabilities have been significantly increased look at this uh, current liabilities yes no see this as a percentage in 2020 it has increased uh, to 8.37 8.37 so here if you look at about this one yes current liability figure has been increased no significantly here see right so that mean uh, we have a short term financial crisis 
right you have to carefully look at about the reason for such so your finance lecture may talk on this in details look at about the ratios uh, so gp ratio uh, has maintained at a higher level around 50% np ratio is also good around 25% return on equity is good 6.35 return on total assets 4.82 Current uh, ratio, uh, we are having some problems actually. Now see, uh, the situation is not good. Uh, so we have some uh, short-term financial crisis. Right? So it has come down. So gearing is well managed. No issue. The equity ratio has come down actually. Right? Total asset turnover is also... Uh, well managed. Right. So with that, I can complete my uh, presentation also. Right. So what I'm recommending is again, I'm showing you, right. Try to do whatever analysis you can do. So this is what I have done uh, for strategic management part. Uh, at the beginning also, I show you uh, for the last time case study, right. See, I have done, uh, 75 analysis is only for strategic management, right? Uh, so, so if you look at about the number of pages, uh, it is uh, 190 pages. It's 190 pages. This time, uh, uh, some of the analysis may not be required. For example, sort here, we don't have information to conduct sort for uh, four companies. Only for one company, you can conduct sort analysis, right? Uh, so this may be reduced to some extent, but at least uh, 150 pages analysis you have to do for strategic management alone. Then uh, other two subjects uh, will say around 300 pages analysis. You have to carry at least 350, 300 pages analysis alone with you when you are going for the exam. Right? Try to do whatever the analysis you can do uh, with the information uh, available. Right? Uh, any questions from you in any questions do you have any questions to get clarifications any questions to get clarifications from you in I think recording will be shared by CA, you know. I think it will be shared in the YouTube. Aruna, are you there? I think Aruna may answer this one. Aruna, are you there? So recording will be uh, shared by uh, Institute. Aruna will share this one. I think uh, this may be uploaded as a YouTube video. Aruna, are you there? Right. Any more questions? Someone is asking, uh, could you please add what study material we need to refer? Is that SL4 full study fact or can we limit only SL5 study fact? Yeah, you can uh, limit your uh, work to SL5 study facts. But uh, it has given some reference to SL4 areas. Uh, in that scenario, you have to go there. For example, SL5 uh, doesn't talk about the business level strategy. It talks only about the corporate level strategy. For the business level strategy, it asks you to go to the SL4 and uh, get the knowledge. In that scenario, you have to go and uh, refer those material. Right. This is related to strategic management part. I hope you got the answer from that. So there is a 20% area. If you look at about the strategic management uh, component, uh, it is 45%, no? 25% corporate strategy, 20% uh, business strategy. 
within the cell 5 uh, it explained the th 25 percent and it say uh, for the 20 percent go to a cell 4 and uh, get the knowledge in that scenario you have to go there and get the knowledge i hope channel you got the answer on that So, any more questions? Is a SML? I think you can use uh, some of uh, my recording done to CA Sri Lanka. So they have a link and you can go through those videos, right? If someone is not having those videos, just send me an email. I will share the link for strategic management. I will share my email here. So don't, you don't want to worry on that. If someone is not having this, knowledge on in strategic money you can use this uh, ca webinar uh, done uh, covering the whole syllabus so you can uh, refer that one and get the knowledge so you send me an email then i will share the uh, link with you right any more questions If you have any question, you can raise, no issue. You can uh, uh, unmute mic and speak. Right, if you don't have uh, questions, so we can wind up the sessions. So thank you very much uh, for participating in the session. I hope uh, I did something uh, for you. Uh, you got some knowledge uh, from my presentations, uh, right? Thank you very much uh, for participating in the sessions. I wish you all the best for all of you.